Let's bloody hide, hide. Killiga National Park. That damn food it needs to be. Righto, it's Monday, public holiday. I've got the ram back again. And so I've got under the carport, under the awning. We're gonna do a bit more work to it today. Oh boy. Oh boy. So today we're gonna put the awning on. Um, we're gonna put the solar panel on the roof and a few other bits and pieces. So, I'm not going to do an install video on putting the, the awning on the truck. Um, if you want to see an install of me putting my awning, it's exactly the same awning. I've already done a, a video on one of them, so you can just go back, just search up the Bush Company or go back through my channel and you can see the 180 install that I did and how to install it. So we're going to throw that on, show you that it's all set up once I put it together. And um, got some other little bits and pieces to do. We're going to do some of the power install. We're going to put a power board and stuff in this truck. Um, and then this clip will jump, we'll just jump straight to uh, when I get the stuff for the, the shower. So if you didn't watch the last episode, go back, check that out. We mounted the Road Chef um, oven in the, the truck. We uh, carpet lined all the top of the, the truck here. We put um, rubber in the drawers and stuff. So that video is up on the channel. Got the 2.3 metre Bush Company 180 awning. Uh, what do we got on this side? Um, so we carpeted all in here on the last one. So I've got the shower tent up here, but I'm just waiting on some brackets to show up, some 90 degree brackets, aluminium ones. We'll be mounting the quick pitch en suite in the, in the canopy like this. So this bag has, doesn't have anything on the back of it at all. So we just drill holes straight through the bracket and we'll be mounting that in there. And I'll probably leave the PVC bag on it so that way if it's ever wet, you can still fold it up and wait till you get home and stuff and then dry it out but we've got carpet up there as well um got some of the shower stuff in this bag here got our first aid kit and stuff so gonna be going ahead and mounting power board i've got some stuff in the back of the truck here so we've got some velcro great stuff you can stick anything to it um we've got some new locks for the rear wheels some smaller ones got two power boards i'm gonna see which one fits better up in here then we'll uh, velcro it to the, the panel. Okay, so it's been a few hours now. I've got the power board mounted, so it's velcroed in the truck. So if anything ever happens to it, it can be, uh, be replaced easily. Um, the way I've mounted it, you can fit the big block style chargers in there. Um, and you have your switches and your red light indicator. Um, the max on this board is... 2400 watts so we've got a 2000 watt inverter so it should be fine with that um, cabling ran up through the top of the canopy across the other side to the inverter um, so i've done that i've also mounted the uh, bush company awning so i've got the bush company 180 xt max awning on there if you guys want to see an install video uh, go back into my youtube I have a full install video of me installing mine on the, the F250. So exactly the same here on the Ram. Um, opens up perfectly with the door and stuff. Up considering they're not going to rooftop tent. Could have gone a, a 270, but decided to um, just go with the 180. Leave the access with the ladder and stuff onto the roof um, for max tracks and swags and loading and stuff like that. So you can still keep the awning out when you're doing all those sorts of things. Um, so awning's done. So we're just using the uh, mitts brackets up here on the, the awning so that's nice and sturdy three brackets holding that awning is uh very strong putting the stress through the other uh, roof rack system there but that thing is basically bulletproof now um, going to be mounting the solar panel probably on this side um, so that way we can leave this side open for swags and, and other pieces of equipment and stuff like that uh, stretches and stuff possibly larger camp chairs and whatnot um, but we've already got the solar in the boys at uh, DMF have already done that for us at MITS. So that's all ready to go. So I'm going to crack on now and get the solar panel out. 
we'll get all that mounted. Um, if you wanna see a solar panel installation video, uh, jump on my channel. I've done a solar install on my Bush Company rooftop tent as well in the past. So all these sort of install videos I do have on the channel already. So we're gonna go ahead now and get that panel on and I'll come back to you in a minute. And then I think it's gonna be beach time because it's uh, pretty hot right now. So we've got the, I thought it was 150 watt, but it's actually 180 watt, which is even better. So monocrystalline solar panel here from Red Arc. Apparently this is a new model, as you can see there. So go ahead and get this open, get it all nut zerted in the side of it, get it mounted. We've got some mitts, some uh, little mitts brackets here somewhere, which I'll show you. So we've got these little, these little brackets just here. So this part here will go to the, the mitts roof rack system and then we'll nut zert into the side of the panel and then we've got some other hardware and stuff the boys have given me to uh, mount that to the side of the panel and she'll be rigid as. So we've got four of them, a um, bunch of bolts and other stuff to go in there. Alrighty, yeah, climbing up on the ladder. It's bloody getting windy here now. So awning's all done. Um, we've got the solar panel up the front. I've mounted it um, east to west so that way this area here is accessible from where I'm standing on the ladder. That way you can just, um, we can get some uh, tie down points for on the, the rack itself, just some eyelets, and we can just throw the swags that they're planning to use right here on the back, throw the strap over without actually climbing onto the rack, which is just a bit, bit sketchy. So, um, and especially if we had the panel north south you've only got this much room to walk and load gear, where right now you can stand comfortably on the ladder, someone can hand you the swags or whatever you wanna put up here. You can just sit it there, put a strap over, ratchet it down. You don't actually have to climb on the roof of the truck. Um, so yeah, don't really want them climbing up here uh, if they don't have to, so we put the solar panel forward. 180 watts, so massive amount of solar. Probably gonna run a solar blanket as well. So we'll probably end up getting a, um, Red Arc solar blanket, so, but they've got plenty of solar for now. So the Ram's coming along nicely. Uh, I actually went up to a mate's place this weekend and we um, just went for a Three, bit of uh, shooting two, action and one. stayed on the river and stuff. And as I drove my truck into the river, um, or down near the river to camp, I think that afternoon, that exact afternoon as I parked up, I think the alternator has uh, taken a shit. And basically, um, I pretty much drove from his house down to the creek, or down to the river, uh, just on my battery power. So I'm glad it did it where it did it, but got the, uh, the alternator here, so I pulled it out of the tr F truck. Um, I'm just glad that it, it's done it where it has, and it hasn't actually done it on the Simpson Desert, because that would have been absolutely devastating. I would have been, probably would have just cried the whole time. So that's where it sits down in there. Um, but if that had have gone out in the Simpson, that would not have been a fun time. So I'm probably going to, if I do that trip again, I'll probably end up carrying a starter motor and a alternator as well. So I'm going to order a new one of them tomorrow for the truck. Um, but yeah, we tested it and we had a jump pack on the truck and then we drove from his house down to, well, sorry, we drove from the river, tried to get back up to the house and it drained his jump pack completely, drained both my, my batteries completely. So, um, yeah, it's it has to be the alternator at, the, at this point. It can't really be anything else unless it's a, a rub through wire or something, but I've checked, I've checked as much as the harness as I can. It's really hard to get to, but it doesn't seem to be corroded. So, and I've put the alternator on the uh, the bench, put a rattle gun onto it, try to see if I can get some power out of it, and I just can't get anything. So, I'm assuming that's the uh, that's the culprit. So, right, I got the ram back again. There's a bit of jumping forward and back in this video, just because um, I'm waiting on stuff just to show up. It's like Australia Post. Everything that I've bought about a month ago is just sitting in Victoria, and I've only managed to get a few things kind of coming up. So. Uh, managed to get some some bracketry and stuff like that for the max tracks and the shower so this this morning we're going to mount the shower in, inside the canopy here get that all mounted up um, i've already mounted the shovel which i'll show you 
So just got the same brackets, the Yakima brackets that I've got um, in my canopy. So I've got a little shovel there, little bathroom shovel, toilet shovel. Um, it's not a, not a big shovel for obviously recoveries or anything like that, but just a little little shovel just there. So this one the customer already had. Um, and then we've got some other bracketry just here um, for the max tracks to go on the roof. Um, and then we've got our other brackets just here. Um, these are just some universal ones I got off eBay. So these will work perfectly inside the, the mitts canopy for the shower, the shower mod that we're gonna do, same as my truck. We've gone with a quick pitch. I went for the PVC bag, just so that way you can, um, if you wanna have a shower and then roll it up to get it out of the way, um, you can, and it can just stay in the PVC bag till the next day, then you can roll it out and let it dry. Um, didn't go with the box option just because the box is way too big to fit up here in the canopy. This is nice and nice and slim, um, so it should work really well in here and trying to keep the weight down as well. So gonna go ahead now, already got the shovel in. Um, uh, Max Trax brackets here. So these are off-road animal, I think. Um, got these off eBay as well. Um, so these will go on the roof rack and then swags and stuff like that can get stacked on top of the max tracks and strapped down um, as well so these are going to go on the roof just waiting on the max tracks to show up waiting on a bunch of other little bits and pieces but what i'll do is we're going to go and do a weigh bridge test with this truck i want to go and see how much it weighs once we're we've got it just about on point to where i want it so um with those rest of those accessories show up i'll do another video and fit the rest of that stuff and then we'll take it for a spin and get another weigh bridge and we'll see how much See how much the truck weighs with all the gear in it. I've got these brackets here, um, just off eBay. I just typed in universal awning bracket, and um, I think the company was called, I think it was Cane Toad something, if you're interested, but they're really nice bracket. They're powder coated in the same ebony black that the rest of the canopy's done in, um, and the tray, so they, they'll, they go really well. Um, but yeah, it's exactly what I needed to go inside. I've got the the slots, elongated holes here to go into the mitts extrusion. So we'll mount two of these um, side by side uh, and then we'll mount the awning to that. So I think it comes with some little bit of hardware and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna need any of this stuff. I might use maybe the bolts out of it or the nuts and the washers, but that's more so to go on like steel cage roof racks and stuff. So basically we just got the shower all open now. Um, you can see the, the rear bracket that runs along the back side underneath the cover. We'll, uh, we'll drill, drill, drill through through the back here. And this is our, this is our bracket. So we're just gonna measure where we want it to sit and then we'll, um, we'll drill through and mount it probably through those two center holes just there. So I'll go ahead and mark all this out and come back to you when I've got it just about ready to go up. Okay, so I've got uh, all my holes marked out, just got four holes um, along here marked out ready to go. So I'm gonna, got the drill, a couple of drill bits, and I've got some bolts to run through into the bracket. So I'll go ahead now and drill these holes. The, feed the bolt through this side through here. I've got to mount the brackets first because it's just it's going to be too hard to um to do it when it's actually up in the canopy. So feed the bolt through like that. And these these brackets are actually really good because they're like elong the holes are elongated. So if I'm not quite on point, we can shimmy it up or up or down, which helps. 
Bro, it's like 10 a.m. You're a bit late. All right, up. And I will fold everything back up now. But honestly, this this shower mod, like by the, you buy the brackets, you buy the um, you buy the the quick pitch shower or whatever shower you want. But this is taking me less than half an hour to do this, guys. It's not a an all day job. Oh right, yeah, we are all mounted. Um, got a little bit of clearance there. Um, this isn't where the the door folds. This is actually part of the canopy, so. I could slide that up in there a little bit more if I wanted to, but we'll leave it there for now. It doesn't impede on loading the canopy at all because we do have the shelf, the drop shelf. So it's level with the drop shelf. And then basically that top behind where the awning is now, that whole area there will be for just gear that you don't, you don't tend to use a lot. So we'll probably put some of the shower stuff in there um, as in the, uh, wherever it is. I've got this bag here. It has all the, the shower hoses and stuff like that in there. So we'll stick all that up in there, the first aid kit, um, just whatever gear you're not really gonna get to all the time. Put towels up there so when you actually do open the, the awning, which I'm gonna show you now, we'll open it up and um, we'll adjust all the height and everything for the, the ground height and stuff, so. Just move me tools out the way. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called cane toad brackets. Um, but just search universal uh, awning brackets on eBay and they should come up. Actually, it might be on the box here. Hang on. No, nah, it's not. Oh, well. yeah. Just search um, universal awning brackets and they should come up. It's just basically a 90 degree bracket that you want with probably to about... I'd say we've got, um, you'd only really, to do the awning, you need probably 150 mil of drop, 130 mil of drop, but it all works sweet now. Um, basically gonna use this top shelf, like I mentioned, um, for towels, shower equipment, other things that you don't really get to all the time, first aid kits, uh, could be sat phones, all sorts of things like that that you don't really need every five minutes while you're touring, so. But we'll go ahead now and um, we'll adjust the length to the ground. We'll adjust all the straps up so it's all perfect. Cut off the excess of the material um, and then we'll just singe the end of it. And yeah, shower tent. And then obviously the shower will go, we'll mount the shower to the top of the tray in there, which I have just here. So a little companion. Aqua Cube, or well, Aqua Heat they're called now. They used to be called Aqua Cube, now they're Aqua Heat. That little unit, we'll mount that in there. All the straps are all cut and just uh, singed back off again so they're all shorter because they were down to like here before. So all cut off now, um, just singe the ends with a lighter. So go ahead now and fold it back up. Side around, just pull our Pull that bag out. Okay, we've got our straps in there already because they came inside the thing. The one I did on my truck, I had to, it was a bit more custom because mine was mounted in a, the aluminium case, the quick pitch aluminium case. But the good thing about having it underneath your, your canopy like this is you've got your light right here. We're gonna have the shower mounted right here on the um, the shelf. Have your bucket of water sitting up here or sitting down here on the ground, so it's really close. And we have one mounted quick pit shower tent in the canopy. So quick pit shower is all mounted now. Looking good brackets in there so fits nice with the door door goes around it no worries got our little aqua shower cube mounted just there so when you open the shower bang that's right in front of you up on top is your hoses and stuff plug them in put your bucket beside it that way you can control your how much water you're using and yeah there's your shower easy done come up onto the roof i've mounted the max trucks brackets Put them right here at the back, easy to access. 
and then we can still throw the swags on top so we'll be running crash pad swags on this setup so yeah don't want to don't want to climb on the roof like i mentioned before don't want to climb on the roof so max tracks are easy accessible here right from the ladder and then also just throwing the swags on the roof and throwing a strap straight over here from the ladder which would be really easy that's why i've mounted the solar panel in the direction that i have so yeah rams looking good so waiting on a couple of more things to show up um that i've ordered online ordered them about a month ago still not here they're just sitting in victoria's australia post just sitting in victoria somewhere so um dandenong i think they're sitting at so i don't know what's going on with the aussie post at the moment but yeah once we get those other few items uh, max tracks and a few other bits and pieces i've got for the truck um that same video we're going to go down to the way bridge and actually do a we're going to go and weigh the truck see how much it weighs um because i definitely do want to keep this truck underweight um don't want to go over the gvm and stuff like that so yeah we'll see where we're at then but anyway that's the ram let me know in the comments what you think about the shower um, if you haven't seen my video of my mod on my shower go back through my youtube um and it, it's in there and yeah if you're bored go back through my whole channel and there may be videos you haven't seen so i know everyone says it but yeah like and subscribe um you might not think that liking the video or commenting does anything but it does help the channel a lot every comment then generates it to youtube to say hey this video is getting a lot of comments pushes it to more people exposes the channel more and um yeah get more subscribers and i can keep doing cool little installs like this i'm jumping on my website as well www.ftech.com.au got hats shirts hoodies um, i've got my own range of canvas bags and stuff now with uh, leather patches and they look really cool really high quality gear there's no crap on the website it's all good quality stuff so anyway guys i'll catch you the next one all that youtube stuff like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you in the next one when we go and weigh this big girl catches